Uh, what is up, everybody? It is Monday, Monday the 7th of March, actually. And officially, it was um, eight weeks out as of two days ago, as of one day ago, sorry. So, eight weeks, eight weeks out came and went. Um, we're here the next day, and um, some decisions have been made, actually. And I thought I'd update you guys because you guys are interested and you're following my journey and my journey has just taken another twist and turn. Basically I've decided to cancel my plans to compete at the end of April because uh, my sister, my one and only, is turning 21 and she's heading back from Alice Springs to Christchurch on the 5th of April and her birthday's on the 8th. So me being the great brother I am and the fact that I don't think I'm going to be ready in time for the comp and the fact that my sister's only going to turn 21 once means that I'm also going back to New Zealand. So that will be my next trip. Um, obviously I don't have a huge amount of spare money at the moment. I'm trying to save for a second property. So it's not going to be a huge holiday. Um, I had thoughts of adding on like Asia to the end of it or going, you know, going to Thailand again or something like that, but I'm just going to go to New Zealand, live cheaply, come back. Uh, I'm going to have two weeks off. So that'll be nice. Nice break from work. Awesome party. See my family and friends. Um, my mum and my dad are actually together in the same place for like the first time in about five years. So that'll be cool um, for both me and Anna. And yeah, it's going to be sweet. So clearly, sorry guys, the shred is off. Luckily, <laughs> luckily I didn't do a Friesma and, and start a huge series because I'm actually loving that series, eh? Like shout out to Friesma, man. Like I've, you know, I've followed him for three or four years now and I see a lot of myself in him to be fair, like how he's built his, his physique up and his thoughts on things and you know, he's from New Zealand and, uh, you know, I'd love to meet the guy one day. It'd be pretty sweet. But either way, um, this morning I started off with a, a smoothie for breakfast. I had 80 grams of oats, uh, one banana, two cups of almond milk, a scoop of protein powder and some mixed berries. So it was like six, 700 calories. Um, so basically I'm bulking again, guys. Fuck it. I'm bulking. <laughs> Um, and I'm gonna I'm looking forward to it. I've I've dropped most of that excess fat that I put on after my comp Which I'm happy with I'm happy with the way I'm looking um, You know with carbs in my system and with a nice pump in the gym. I'm actually feeling really really good. So Competing's not the be all and end all guys. Um, I know that you guys know that and I definitely wasn't prepared to try and diet while I was on holiday again because that was horrible and yeah, so that's it guys. I've had my smoothie. I'm going to go and smash some legs. Uh, we've, got the, we've got the tights on. Might take off the shorts and, and work out in tights if there's no one there because we all know how, how good that feels, but no one wants to do it. So anyways, I'm off to the gym. Um, I've got a night shift tonight, so I'll show you guys my post-workout meal and we'll do some more chatting bras because that's what I'm... That's what I want to do. I want to chat with you guys. I want to, seeing as the shredding thing is over, we're going to talk about some different shit, right? So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll see you guys after the gym. I'm going to go kill some legs. We're going to start with squats. Who knows? I usually spend fucking at least half an hour, if not 40 minutes on squats. So we'll do probably 10, 10 sets. Hopefully I'll be able to put a hundred on the bar and, and do sets of 10. Um, I was feeling pretty weak my last leg workout and I wasn't able to do that. I did sets of 10 with 95 on the bar, which is freaking horrible. I can't even do 100, are you serious? So yeah, I think that was because I was feeling really, really depleted that day. And you know, when you don't have carbs and you're feeling depleted, um, it really will affect your workout. So pre-workout or not, it's gonna affect it. So anyways, I'm gonna get a pre-workout going and then I'll be off to the gym and I'll talk to you guys later. What is up everyone? We're back home from the gym. Hit some legs. Uh, let's see if we can see. No. Pump's gone already. Well, it feels like it has anyway. Those feels when you're natural. Those feels. Um, anyways, 
post-workout meal is going to happen pretty soon. But first of all, I'm going to show you guys what I'm looking like. Now, obviously, I'm not going to get any leaner from this point. So this is how I ended up. I was 98 kilograms on the 1st of January. It's the 7th of March and I'm down to 91. Um, I did dip under 90 there, but I was actually quite depleted, dehydrated at the time. So I was never actually under 90 kgs, more so around 91, 92 when I'm full of glycogen, which is the way it is at the moment. So um, I'm gonna stick this up somewhere and we'll do a little bit of a physique update. like but we shall see in a minute now post-workout as I'm bulking as I'm bulking now I'm not gonna buy any more of the core nutrition meals the only reason why I bought those is because they were delicious and low in carbs so it enabled me to keep on my diet so I'm not gonna buy any of those anymore I need some more calorie dense sort of foods um, so you know I went to the supermarket the other day stocked up we got quite a few things here Oats, English muffins, bread, rice, peanut butter, tuna, um, cereals, we've got kangaroo meat, uh, Greek yogurt, egg whites, freaking chicken breast, turkey breast, man, we got it all, we got it all. So I'm, um, you know, I'm in a perfect Perfect position to keep, to, you know, continue bulking um, into the middle of the year. So, so another thing I wanted to say was that I'm not going to be going to the Arnold Classic. Um, obviously, because I decided to spend my money on a trip to New Zealand, I don't have enough and I just can't, can't justify um, taking more leave, more money to go to the Arnold Classic. Um, that was probably going to cost me about three grand the whole entire trip. So. That's three grand I don't have right now, um, which really sucks. I mean, I've, I've said I've wanted to go for the last three years straight and I still haven't made it, which fucking really pissed me off. But, uh, you know, things happen and this is life and uh, you got to do what you got to do. So I'm really looking forward to New Zealand. I, I mean, I hate to say it, but I'm looking forward to going back home more than I am about going to Melbourne to go to the Arnold Classic. So. You know, I, I, I made the decision quite easily. Um, yeah, so anyways, what I actually am gonna have post-workout is 250 grams of rice, 250 grams of chicken breast, a shitload of barbecue sauce, and then after that, I'm gonna make a smoothie. I'm gonna put in, again, as I did this morning, one scoop of protein powder, probably one serve of oats. I'm gonna put a banana in there this time, um, and then, two cups of cashew milk and some frozen berries and those are two clean delicious meals high in carbs high in protein low in fat exactly what i need post-workout um, and that's going to keep me going until probably what's the time 2 30 um until you know i might actually go back to the gym before i start work so i start work at nine um so you know i might go back about eight and I'll have another another meal uh, pre-workout 
go and smash some arms, then go to work, have another meal post-workout, and chill out for the night. It sounds like a good day to me. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'm sorry I'm not going to improve any more on the condition that I've got at the moment. Don't know if you can see. <laughs> Anyways, I never got... I never got shredded last time, haven't got shredded this time. I don't really give a shit. I'm gonna go back to what I know and what I can do best, which is train hard, eat well, eat a lot, and lift heavy, and uh, make some gains. So let's do it. See you in the next one.